gentlemen, good evening. A very warm welcome to this, I would say, very, very cool place. I mean, Beverly Hills is a very cool place, but this is one of the coolest places uh, in Los Angeles and in Beverly Hills. And I would say, uh, with no further ado, uh, I would ask my colleague Adrian van Hoydon to show you the coolest car in Beverly Hills. Thank you very much, Ludwig. Uh, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I think it's a spectacular location, very futuristic building, and behind us, below us, uh, one of the biggest mega cities in the world. And what we have to show you here this evening uh, is relevant to both these topics. It is both futuristic and, as we believe, uh, is going to be a very, very good solution uh, for people trying to move around uh, in a big city like LA. Um, you know that uh, this city loves cars, this city needs mobility, and you also know uh, that there's a lot of changes on the way uh, in terms of mobility. You know that uh, BMW is taking a, a pretty brave approach uh, to these matters. Uh, we are starting a new sub-brand next year, BMW i, and we are launching two cars all at once. Uh, and uh, our teams in Munich are working very hard at readying uh, the production vehicles, and tonight I would like to take you just a little bit closer still uh, to the final version of the i3. Um, first of all, maybe uh, just a, a few thoughts uh, on how we got to this uh, design or this form language, because um, we're talking about new drivetrains, and you know a lot about that. Uh, we're talking about carbon fiber um, uh, used in the structure. This is very new as well, but uh, you've heard this from us before. What does all of that mean uh, for us in design, or, or what could it mean? For us, uh, it meant uh, a unique opportunity. <coughs> Um, all our cars, all our brands uh, represent uh, premium brands or products. So when we design premium products, um, we know what we're doing, I could say. Um, for premium products, um, they have to be emotional. All our brands, uh, of course, are that. Uh, we're talking about fine materials, we're talking about refinement, uh, we're talking about precision. So these are things uh, we are used to expressing in our design. Um, and typically aesthetics is in the foreground when people look at uh, a premium product. Now what about sustainability? Uh, when we talk about uh, sustainability in design, uh, typically uh, there is different things uh, that we want to express or different things uh, that we can use. We're talking about um, more rational aspects maybe uh, in design or in, in buying products. We're talking about uh, reuse or recycling. We're talking about uh, no waste, uh, taking our responsibility. And uh, altogether, um, it sounds like aesthetics uh, would go, would disappear to the background. Uh, and that, uh, for us, would not be such a good solution. Our idea is to combine these two things, premium uh, and sustainability. Uh, still today, uh, we don't see very many offerings in the market, even here in LA, uh, that actually make this combination. So we see a real market opportunity there. Uh, and uh, we, that's why uh, we want to do it that way. That's why we are taking such a radical approach. Uh, we call it Next Premium, because we believe that for every premium brand in the future, sustainability is a must. Uh, for the next couple of years um, that we see ahead of us, uh, there will be changes. Nobody can predict how fast or how quickly uh, the world will change. But uh, with the BMW i products, we feel uh, that we have everything on offer that a customer could want or wish for in the next couple of years. Um, today, uh, tonight, here with me uh, is uh, Benoit Jacob. Uh, warm welcome to Benoit. Uh, Benoit is the person who is heading up the design team uh, that we set up uh, several years ago. Uh, the team that has developed all this thinking, all this thought, um, uh, and ultimately the form language and the shapes uh, that uh, we have come up with in the BMW i brand. So I would say now maybe uh, we should have a look uh, at what is under this cover, and then Benoit can uh, tell you a few more things about this car. Ladies and gentlemen, the i3 concept food.
gentlemen, uh, my pleasure tonight to uh, preview uh, with you uh, in this event uh, the I3 uh, concept coup. And uh, as Adrian said, uh, basically that was a brief, how can we combine uh, responsibility, sustainability together with emotion? And I think I don't have to speak too long to say that uh, or show that this car speaks for itself. Uh, of course, you're probably uh, all familiar with the first opus uh, of the I3 concept that we've been showing um, nearly a year ago uh, at the, um, in Frankfurt. And um, of course, you recognize some similarities, um, and uh, no wonder, because uh, we go very consequent in uh, showing the world what is your plan when it comes to future mobility, sustainable mobility, uh, in this form of the I3 concept, and you see uh, that we have, uh, of course, our, uh, the original concept um, uh, keep going, working on design cues uh, that are typical from the BMW i because uh, we have the possibility to uh, create a specific identity for uh, the i cars, although uh, you recognize the still BMW brand uh, into this car. Uh, I would say, of course, these kidneys are for you uh, very familiar. The way the car uh, stands on the wheel, good proportion, uh, good stance on the wheel is very important, and you find this also back uh, in this car. And, um, of course, a few icons uh, here, like the LED lamps. Uh, maybe if we move uh, on the side, probably something uh, that you also recognize uh, is the one box uh, proportion uh, that we uh, took over. And moving actually to the body side, I remember and I saw a few from you that already asked me uh, back then, uh, will the production car uh, come with these really big windows and what happens if some people see? And we show here in the form of this uh, coupe show car uh, that we do have a plan when it comes to uh, window graphics. Of course, um, remaining uh, is uh, the very strong graphics, also uh, this trim flow uh, design element that you find back. Also, uh, what we wanted to do is, uh, in the form of a coupe, a coupe in a sense are very emotional car, and we wanted to basically translate uh, specifically the idea of emotion for BMW i, and we did it, uh, for example, with a lot of transparency uh, into the greenhouse. We also celebrate lightweight. Uh, this car is made, like his siblings, uh, out of carbon, and you will see later on in detail that we really celebrate uh, the idea of uh, carbon uh, in a very elegant manner or lightweight. Uh, you see uh, that also, like in the course of the further development, the car did not uh, lost its big wheels. Uh, you find them back here, uh, 20 inch uh, in this case, and they also kind of preview or tease uh, what will be available uh, or what will hit the street uh, now in a year. And moving back to the rear, uh, of course, you can uh, have a couple of pictures uh, showing that we keep going on integrating some functions into this uh, so-called black belt. Uh, this is all glass, you see the lamps, uh, for example, LED technique again, uh, that is fully integrated uh, into uh, this element, and this is also our idea of Next Premium. How can we simplify, how can we uh, make things a little more uh, simpler, or at least clearer, uh, when it comes to car? Um, maybe a few words when it comes to interior, I believe that that does work, that's true. This is also uh, a further uh, extension of uh, Next Premium. And it is based on the idea that uh, not only uh, clean material, I will say a few words in a minute, but uh, this is also a purpose-built uh, car. And that means we took all the advantages of the electric drivetrain to reconfigure right from the beginning uh, the whole interior and uh, what is very stunning uh, in this little mega city car is an extremely uh, roomy interior space uh, versus like the footprint. Uh, so, or in other words, how much space do I consume in the urban environment, but how much space do I really offer uh, for the driver and the passenger? You see uh, that, of course, uh, taking also you a step closer to the production uh, car, that we kept uh, the idea of the seat uh, bench. We use uh, still, as described in Adrian's presentation, uh, some traditional and rough material or moving to the door panel. Uh, for example, a very nice example. 
uh, to show that we can use uh, some uh, natural uh, fibers to actually do some interior trim parts. This is also a step towards sustainability and uh, something that we can also uh, emotionalize. So of course, uh, I could be talking uh, probably the whole evening uh, about this project, uh, but I think uh, we met here uh, to basically also enjoy the rest of the in evening. Um, and uh, Adrian, I think you know, like we went uh, through most of the aspect of this car. Or is there anything more? Uh, we just have to finish the car. I think uh, in time for next year. Uh, thank you, Benoit. Uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, to um, uh, join us here this evening. Uh, I hope it's worth your while. Benoit and myself, of course, uh, will be available for your further questions if you have them. Uh, feel free to come up close and look at the car. Uh, enjoy the rest of the evening in this fantastic location. And um, if we manage uh, to get the car by this pool, then uh, you will see it again uh, at the LA Motor Show tomorrow. I hope to see you there. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you.